Welcome to the video from thislifestyle.com. This video I'm going to quickly show you how you can customise a key stage to work with any soft synth or any actual synths over MIDI, but I'm going to use my soft synth. So I've loaded up this uh, Korg Mini Korg, uh, the 700S, and uh, so I'm in, currently in the Op6 mode, but I can do shift and page, go through the different pages. There's one I've created already, another one. So this is called C9, so I've not used this one yet. So I'm going to use it on there. So there's two ways you can do this. If your soft synth supports learning, that's the easiest way. You can just uh, say on this one, right click, learn, and then get it to learn these controls and you can control it. The other thing that you might want to do as well is, is, is name these. So it's up there, I'm going to call it mini Korg. Let's save that. Right, so like I said, what I can do is I can learn. I can learn it. If your device can't learn it, then the way you can do it, you've got this. You've got a user page like that, and then you've got all the CCs go across here. So, so I've got all 128 CCs on this eight page of controls. So, what I can do, I go to Shift Right. So. So to set these to be on the user page, so the user page, you can, I can customize this user page to be whatever I want from the 128. So let's say I want, let's have a look at this um, this filter low on here. So like I said, I could use learn, but I'm not going to do that. This is the, this is currently on 16, that, um, that filter traveler as the low value. So I want this one to be 16. So I find 16. Which is there on page two. I'll down shift and right. Choose parameter. So I want it to be user knob one. Pretty simple. So I'll write that. And then the other side of that cutoff. Is 17. So I can go find 17 which is there. So shift right. I want that to be user 2, but I could send it to the mod wheel, I could send it to after touch or velocity, but I'm going to use it 2 and do finish. Right, so let's page back to my user page now, and you can see I've got 16 and 17 there now, and that's controlling that cutoff. <laughs> So I could set any of them to be any of those 128. So that's the easiest way of doing it. So now I could set up these as the envelopes. I could do whatever one. Of course, the easy way would be, say, to learn that and then just set that as a third one like that and then I can control it. Well, there you go. That's a quick way of using the key stage to control your soft synths or other MIDI devices using these uh, programmable uh, rotary controls.